hey guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so pisces this reading will be for you if you have any pisces placements or if you're dealing with the pisces please take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest okay um so let's see what is currently going on with you guys what's been highlighted in your life right now okay um so i'm going to be using the angel numbers book first and foremost to get get us started okay be picking at random so first message for you pisces 729 you are being reminded that trust in god and in spirit is essential if you wish to see the way ahead that is so true okay let go of the need to question and have faith yeah so true changes your life 365 you have an opportunity for increased abundance at this time your angels are encouraging you to reconnect with your divine worth that's crazy because I'm a Pisces sun, Venus, North Node, all of that, Mercury. And I've been feeling more, um, feeling more myself, you know, like, yeah, let me get back to it. One, two, three is your last message. You are moving up a step. All the challenges you have previously experienced are now being released. Oh, ain't that good. The angels of ascension are with you now. That's funny because I had a... Um, that last message reminds me of things that I was saying in the Aquarius reading. So if you have Aquarius in your chart or on the cusp, still be in your chart, uh, definitely check that out, guys. So let's see what's going on with you. What's being highlighted with the collective of Pisces at this time? What is being highlighted in their life right now? One last shuffle. Please give me clear messages. The lovers, the ace of swords, judgment, six of pentacles. Some of you guys are having a conversation with, with um, a love interest, a partner, a husband, a wife, okay? Uh, you're someone that you're connected to romantically, okay? Um, about um, an equal give and take, okay? Somebody's feeling, so either if, if it's you, you're feeling like you're not getting... Um, enough from this relationship or this connection or this is how this person's feeling okay we have the king of cups so the love is there some of you guys it could be the father of your child or you are the father every time i say that it sounds weird um seven of cups someone's oh somebody's like do you still love me like how do you feel about me okay someone's not sure if you feel if you love them still or this is how you feel about this person queen of pentacles so you could be well focused on on um nurturing yourself looking after yourself ah okay what well, it is pisces i feel like some of you guys haven't put because pisces like when the pisces love they love like they love okay they can also be very cold very very cold so it depends on which what kind of pisces you're getting okay what what day you get this pisces on all right so Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you guys could be more focused on yourself, your home, nurturing things around you in um, inwardly and outwardly. Never say that. Internal and externally. That's what I normally say. All right. Two of Swords. Maybe it's the indecision of this person. It could be an air sign. We've got a lot of air energy there. We've got water and earth. We've got everything apart from fire so far, okay? I feel like if you feel like there's some kind of confusion and you're putting energy on yourself, that's a great thing, okay? That's a great, great thing. If somebody's been indecisive, put that energy back towards yourself, that loving, all that nurturing. Okay, four of swords here. This is you backing off and, and this is this is you backing off and saying, you know, I need to take a rest from this. I need to chill. You know, I need I need to really reflect and and um, really allow myself time to absorb, to, to, to really um, feel and think about what's been happening within my within this connection or if you're not connected with people right now could have been in your previous connection you could be healing from that okay tell me more please the world yeah so if you guys are like try like this i like it Pisces, i like it okay i like it because you're seeing so some of you guys it could be how you feel towards a pisces so if, if you feel like it's that way please flip the roles okay absolutely do that if you feel like this is your energy but what i'm getting is that you're seeing that something let's just say from pisces point of view you're seeing that um 
a situation that isn't really what you desire, how you want it to be, you, you need more effort, okay? You need more effort, whatever that is, um, from your person, okay? And you're wondering where the energy is. I'm actually, I'm going to ask that, Pisces. I'll ask, why are you feeling this way or what's going on with your person? I will ask that. But you're ready to put this to bed. Like, you're ready to end and done this cycle, okay? This is like... It's got, it feels like it's gone on for too long. This doesn't feel like this, have, this is something that's just come up out of the blue. This could be a, rep a repetitive thing that you've been experiencing with this person or in your love life, okay? So maybe it's you reflecting on your choices as well, your decisions, okay? Because accountability, that's what, that's what really helps us move on. Otherwise, we can't blame everything on the other person, even though if they have been quite shitty... We have to um, take a look at what we've also been doing to really avoid doing that in the future. And when we see certain things that we don't like, it's like, all right, if you ain't good, if that's how you want to be, I ain't going to be around. All right. So let's see what's going on with your person. The death card could be a Scorpio. So they have changed. So this person has changed. Knight of Swords. And this could be you like asking like someone, someone. Ace of Wands. No, that is funny. That is funny. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, some of you guys feel like the relationship is dead apart from when this person wants sex. Okay. I'm going to be real. That's why. Because the way the Ace of Wands is there and the Knight of Swords here, the way he's rushing towards, yeah. So it, it could be a female. Could be a female that's behaving that way. Okay. So if you guys are in the same sex relationship, whatever your situation be, I feel like some of you guys feel like this person's dead, not dead. I hope they're not actually actually dead. Oh God, I'm not trying. Anyways, okay, let me take that. It's some of you guys that, that may be the case. Okay, maybe some of you guys are trying to get move on, but I feel like some of you guys feel like this person is not giving you emotions you know like i said um if you, if it is a pisces that you're dealing with i'm a pisces son i'm not biased i don't care about what sign I, don't, I really don't care i've got a lot of pisces placements i don't care i will say things about any sign i really don't care okay i'm not like oh pisces are the best no okay i know Pi one of the worst person that i met was a pisces actually one of the most toxic people that i met was a pisces and I thought, like, you're the damn devil, okay? Um, so, yeah, okay? It's not all about certain signs. It's just character, isn't it? It's about character. So maybe you guys, this person has been cold towards you. What happens with death? Someone goes cold, right? So, yeah, freezing the cold, okay? So this could be their heart also. Someone's stone cold. Ha hangs a man. Yeah, no, nothing came moving. It's stagnant. Wow. It's like, ah, some of you guys are carrying dead weight. Do you know what I'm getting, Pisces? Do you know what I'm getting? And this might seem a bit dark, but I'm going to go there. I'm sure some of you guys, are, most, Pis most Pisces are kind of into like dark things anyway. So I'm sure you can handle it. Um, anyways, you, let's just, let's pure example of what this is like, this connection. For me, this is what I'm picking up on. You know when people are, have gone to war, soldiers have gone to war, okay, and they, um, some, one of their um, people that they're at war with, whatever you call them, other soldier, another soldier unfortunately dies, but this, sol but this, this soldier that's still alive, they need to continue, but they want to take that dead person with them because of the emotions that they had for them, which naturally you're going to want to do, that's natural. I ain't cold. I can be cold sometimes. But yeah, I'm not being like, like um, you know, horrible. But I'm just saying, sometimes in order to save your own life or to move forward, you have to drop that dead weight, literally, okay? Some of you guys are carrying this this person or kind of get... It's like talking to a stone. A, some of you guys, it could be a, it could be a water sign. It could be a, um, an air sign, Okay. We have got Pisces right there. Could be another Pisces for some of you guys. We've got Scorpio. We've got Gemini. Um, that's the strongest signs that have come out. But some of you guys feel like you're speaking to a to a wall. 
Like you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting any feedback. You're not getting any emotion out of. Do you know what I'm saying? So. That's what it is for some of you guys. Tell me more. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, is this going to work? Is that... So you're really trying to... You, ah, seven of Cups and a Seven of uh, Pentacles. Some of you guys are really trying to figure out different ways. You might be driving yourself crazy, Pisces. Some of you guys, is not a love interest. It could be a friend, a family member, okay? A situation with work, okay? Where maybe you manage a team and certain people are, are slacking, and you're thinking, you really ain't helping the team. And, you know, you being here is like dead weight. What are you here for? Do you get me, Pisces? So it's something like that where someone's not pu not putting in the work. Someone's just, why are you there? Why are you there? Or why am I here? Ace of Cups. Okay, so this, tell me more. Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys are one, okay. Some of you guys, it is love, yeah, but. If it's not love, take you can fit, make it fit into a different life that resonates with you. So if you guys, this person's indecisive about offering you a new relation, a relationship, or or restarting something. Three of Wands. This is you waiting, or this person cross watching. This could be you waiting for a Pisces. Okay, tell me more, please. King of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this person, this person could be focused on their career, their money, their stability, stuff like that. Okay, tangible things. But I'm also getting that this person, some of you guys are waiting to, uh, for this person to be that, that, um, I always see like the queen and king of pentacles of like, like, like hubby and wifey material. Okay. I always see them like that. Yeah. Someone who will nurture you, take care of you, kind of, for me. I don't even want to say, I'll say it, but the earth sign kind of is, um, the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles for me is the closest to the empress. Dis agree or disagree, it's just how I feel, okay? Because of the nurturing aspect of it, that's why, okay? Um, but anyways, anyways, um, I feel like some of you guys are waiting for this person to become the, the, this, per uh, this king or this queen of pentacles, yeah? But you're not seeing that. You're not getting that. Six of Swords. Some of you guys may have may have moved on for your own sanity. This is my, for me, the Six of Swords is like my mental health card. Okay, it's like the mental health health card for me is like moving on, letting go of something. Okay, because what's before this? The Five of Swords. Yeah, arguing, headache, drama, com like all these things. Yeah, it's horrible things being said. But this person's moving on from that because they ain't got time for it. They ain't got time for it. Okay. Right, last message for Pisces, please. Seven of Swords. This is what they ain't got time for. I swear if you guys know, I don't like this card. I like his face. I like him. I like the energy. I like it. Some of you guys are moving on from a sneaky person, a liar, deceptive. Let's just say decept deceptive person, yeah? Some of you guys are moving on from somebody who's... And I also see it as a time waster as well. Okay? I You can see it as a scammer, Okay? Some, the sun. Some of you guys will be much happier once you move on. I feel like some of you guys have waited for this person to be who you want them to be. Or it could be a cross watch how you feel towards a Pisces. Absolutely fine. You know. Um, I feel like you guys will be so much happier when you move on. Okay, look at this. The sun, the hanged man and the king of cups. You guys will be so much happier. Especially if you put that love towards yourself. Maybe disappointing or maybe hurtful. That's natural. That's okay to feel that way. It's good to, uh, you know, stay in touch with your feelings, your emotions. And people always feel like uh, water signs are always in touch with their emotions. Not every, not all, no, not all water signs are like that. Not all water. Some, some are very cold where they try to block it out because it can be quite intense. Not everybody wants to face, like, feel what they're feeling. A lot, of, a lot of water signs do block it out by drinking, by, by, by smoking a lot, by, yeah, that's, that's the truth. I'm a water sign, I know many water signs, it is what it is. I don't, I don't smoke like that, I, I smoke a cigarette, I don't drink like that either, but I have noticed that with a lot of Pisces or water signs in general, it can be quite intense for them, so they want to block it out. So not all water signs actually face their emotions, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.